Morning punters and fans, and thanks for uh, tuning in again this week. Your introductions aren't getting any more enthusiastic, but um, great to uh, have you watching. Big week for the stable, or big weekend for the stable, I should say. Four winners around all around the country, even trained a winner in another country down in Tasmania there. That was a good, eh? Very good. Seagreen Sally got a listed win for her connections, and um, it was a great thrill. We sat here in the office and watched it. I will say on more Saturday night, we lost a horse as well through the week, which was which was sad. Quick strike passed away. Um, so condolences to, to the owners, and obviously our staff take it pretty bad when these loved ones do um, lose their life. It's as simple as that. We take it pretty bad. So hard for the staff, and um, yeah, a few wins here and there help 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 the tonic, I guess. But um, no, it was great. It's good to get a win, and of course, Denise Martin's horse, Admiral, won very well as well. She is a good horse. We're staying with Admiral's trainer. Barry Kemp. Bag Baz, yeah, mm. up there. Looking forward to going and visiting them. Is it Leighton? It's Brayton. I don't know. Don't know. Tasmania. In Tassie, anyway. Uh, Saturday, Amicus, she was superb. Friday night, Magicus, he's two from two now. He looks pretty smart. Yeah, very smart. Um, at Mooney Valley, it was a good good ride by Craig Williams, aided by a good draw, and as you say, Amicus, wow, she's a little beauty. Mm, just a winner. Yeah, just, just got a winner. bit of a by nose, but she's a Group 1 winner, multiple Group 2 winner, and just keeps coming back. And be it, she's only four. Will she be the next Catkins? Who knows? I don't want to forget one horse. Tim's you will probably uh, shoot me if we do. That was Black Jag. He was... Um, that is brilliant best. Need to say something about Black Jag. What do you want to say about him? It's a good advertisement for Australian racing. He hasn't won a, or had picked up major prize money in either or a, a restricted sales race, or has he run a placing in a listed race yet? He's won over 600,000. Mm. Australian prize money is good. If you've got a sound horse, um, then good owners. Well done, 600,000 black jack. Good owner. Not out yet. Good owner, Leah. Mm, yeah. Tim's is far from good. Hey, uh, let's jump into this weekend. We've got a superb weekend of racing. Canterbury Park, Friday night. We'll go through Canterbury Park pretty quick. Nice and simple. The and first. we'll get through Melbourne quick because they're only got 30 minute gaps again, so that's good. Again, I thought it was a week drop. They've put it on for a week. Day drop. Extended it. Yeah, extended it. Oh, wow. First race, Miss Royale, Pico Dequino. Very hard to beat, Miss Royale does nothing wrong. Pico Dequino, hard to beat, but she does everything wrong. She'll be slow away, she'll struggle around Canterbury, but she does have a bit of class. Good jockeys on both. Take them in the Quinella. Uh, four runners in the second, Lacala, Spiritos, Multifacets, and Danage. Uh, pretty yeah. even bunch of... Yeah, Spiritos got beat on a wet track last start. He's going terrific. La Carla was very disappointing first start on a wet track, steps up in distance on a better track. Maori Fasics was great first up. Mm. And Damage won her last start and be a good sentimental win if she happened to win on Friday. For sure, for sure. Good yeah. jockeys aboard again. Well done. Who's pick, booking the jockeys these days? Charlie has to fill his days doing something. Fair enough. Uh, race for Dubai in style. He's an oh, and the Bowerman's office furniture. The Bowerman's, yes. Great One furniture. of the great furniture places, or I even go there for my lounge room furniture, it's so stylish. Mm. Um, Dubai in style, it's got a fairly decent record in yeah. New Zealand. It's run second to the Burn Horse over there, extravagant. Hugh Bowman on barrier nine, 1200 metres. I think he's a miler, but gee, he races pretty keen, so I think 1200 is a good starting point. Awkward gate to overcome, but Hugh Bowman aboard, anything's possible with Huey aboard, so let's hope he can get him to switch off. He's a good horse to fight. Loving home, now's the time. Uh, oof, bit of contrast here, now's the time. Probably nearly should have won the other day. <laughs> or been into that. And Loving home was disappointing first up. You've sent him back to the trials, tried good. Yeah, second up was disappointing. Second up, enormous. So, sorry, first up. I reckon it was just a wet track. Wet track. It's right, must throw the punters around a bit those wet tracks because even you can get a soft six one week and a soft seven next week could be lanes apart. Got to use my form system, mate. Yeah, exactly. We should share it. Yeah, well, they actually re rate the tracks on the times that they're They don't. Do they do? Yeah, fair enough. 
Or so you get a whole lot of slow horses around there, make it it's a slow track. Or they say, no, 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 this, this stuff. I Please. Would, it's the best. Um, was that good? They wouldn't be selling it if you keep it for themselves. No, see, they're punters, mate. Happy to look after the other punters. Rock Temple. Rock Temple, Barrier 11, James McDonald. Do I get to say anything or not? Yes. Orchid draw loves Canterbury. Fair enough. Just needs a bit of luck. Last race, Silver Sands. Yes. 10 o'clock. Tell me about this one. Um, on the trials, you'd, you'd have, a, have a good go at her, but you don't. What, a good cheer? A good yeah, rule. Yeah, really. Come on! <laughs> um, trial form doesn't get me, Liam. But no. look, I can't fold her at home. She's working well enough. Um, she's a good type. Hugh Bowman, Barry One. Lot to like about her. If she runs up to a trial form, mm -hmm. she'll be hard to beat. Right, get into the big stuff. We'll rip through these nice and quickly. First race, Caulfield, Saturday, Abasso, 1800. Struggle at the distance before, but as horses get older, I find they can normally stretch out a little bit. It gives them also a better turn of foot over a trip. He'll be hard to beat. Okay. I haven't got to the form, don't do the form. No. You do the form. We'll go to the uh, main race, feature race. Oh, uh, yeah. We'll come back to that race. Boban, Barry 13, lovely. Doug, Got my man Dougie White out. Dougie White. We'll need Dougie White from Barry 13. One thing I know about Hong Kong jockeys, they're great from the barriers. Mm -hmm. Good tacticians. Mm -hmm. If he could be three wide midfield, won't be such a bad place to be. Horse is going terrific. And um, it's a group one race, need a bit of luck, of course, but. He'll be there. He won't be very Well, away. if he gets it wrong, he'll be the late of the day on uh, Shartin on Sunday. Won't make it. And he'll be flying economy <laughs> with Air China. All the way home. Have fun, Dougie, on a 42-hour flight with seven stops. Uh, Vanbra and Devil Hawk in the Autumn Stakes. Vanbra, what are you doing? Barrier 4, are you running or not? I reckon keep him in Sydney. I think he's going well. Really? Rose Hill Guineas is his race. I don't know. Don't know what to do. Devil a bit Hawk. of a blow after he galloped Tuesday. Tuesday. Worked super, but had a bit of a blow. Do I give him an extra week running in the Hobartville? Yes. Probably. Devil Hawk, two trials in Sydney were good. Okay, satisfactory. Jumped out in Melbourne the other day. Oh. Ben Mellon, give it the... Said it went good. Yep. So that's why he's not on it and Douglas White's on it. Um, no, exactly. It'll, it'll need ground this horse, won't it? Well, I'd say so. That's a, that's a good quality. Good for you. Yeah, nice, well, nice. Mahout, uh, Snoopy's a Tarzan and Ola. Um, yeah, it falls away pretty quick. <laughs> right, pretty light day at Ramwick. Yes. What can you tell us about the Frostmine Heart? Well, it should be named after you because you've got a pretty cold heart. Uh, Barry attend Hugh Bowman. I found her in two races in Melbourne. She's just been racing like she wants ground. Unfortunately, I think the races down there are slightly inferior to Sydney, so... Wow. 2,400. Will suit her. Yeah, well, she, she won't be far away. She's never far away. Another cocktail. No excuses this Saturday. Good Sneaks track. Dry track. Good track. Just money down. The cheers. Get the... <laughs> <laughs> Come on. I think he'll be very hard to beat. James McDonald in the saddle. Should be good speed in the race with you. I mean, Mr. Steele. It'll be hopefully rolling along there. Springbok <laughs> Flyer. Um, another one that likes to go forward, T. Berry. Racing terrific. 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 Uh, last six starts, he's either one or run second, except one, which was a seven on that a very a wet, wet track. track. He's going super, this horse. Wonderful to see Philip, too. He's in the ownership there. He loves it. Yeah. Anthony. Yeah. Yeah. Good crew. Having a good time. That's what it's all about. Marin Ostro likes it wet, handles it dry. Andrew Adkins, mile. You, you mark the race for next Saturday. What's doing? 50 50. Big weights. I uh, like them. Big weights. Still not a fan. Whinging. Not a fan. Not a fan at all, really, with these big weights. So there's a good example of one of these races might be today. You can catch that on next week's episode, but right now we're going to run through these runners. So we'll go through the Apollo, who shot the Varman. Reason he and Grandmaster are running, 
I want them to be rock hard fit, not only for the Sydney Cup, but also the BMW and the Ram Vet. I'm not saying they can win the Ram Vet, but don't underestimate who shot the barman over 2,000 metres. Grand Marshal, he'll be, wound, he'll be getting warmed up. I want them rock hard fit for the BMW as well, which is two weeks later, 2,400. No use just getting them ready for the Sydney Cup. Mr. Sydney Cup, it's nothing the following week. Winks returns, did a good job last prep. She should run well. She did. Only had the three runs, she won them all, including the. What's she uh, won now? Her last, how many? Six? Uh, five. five. Joe Marrera, the rider in the Oaks. Before that, she was a wet track, didn't handle it. Um, Should have won the Vinery to start before that. She's a good horse anyway. And she won the Farlap to start before that. Hey. So. She's a good horse. Barrier one, she should get a lovely run. She's worked well. She's went to the Ram, she's had two trials, went to Ram for an exhibition gallop. Should be able to beat. Good stuff. Be exciting. You can't wait till after the races. Be fair to say. Um, yeah, we're driving. I don't know what that Peter Moody went through with Black Caviar. Like she's another level again. God. He must have had his bloody. I think it was that word again. What? Uh, he must have. Uh, he's done a fantastic job. Well done, Pete. Don't know how he did it. Religious Fire in the last with Metallic Crown. Fire away. Metallic Crown, three year old, goes to sell horses, gets him with 52 kilos. He's a chance. Are you going to ride him quiet or are you going to ride him up on the speed? See how the track's racing. <laughs> The best. Give me something. Ride him up on the speed. You're gonna ride him up on the speed. That's where he, how he won. When Jimmy rode him. Telling Barry too, just just a little keen. See how the tracks racing. You wouldn't want to be in front last week. Mind you, the kid does ride him well in front. He's better front running rider than a back riding rider. You're a better back riding rider. And Richard Fry. Harry attend. Are you gonna go forward too? Is he? He will go forward. Yeah. Stuff. Had a few weeks between runs through the wet track, should get a good track on Saturday. Love it. Best of the day. Another cocktail went to Winks. Springbok Fire. He's in another cocktails race. I think there's Not many races, but we've got some good chances. If you're stuck in the western suburbs, can't get to Randwick, Ridges Hotels and Resorts have got all your racing action for the Winning Post Pub. Plus, get upstairs, steak Saturday night. Steeds, I'll be there after the races, driving back. Yeah, why? <laughs> That's it. I've got nothing. Happy cheering. Happy cheering for the cheers.